My name is uh, Howard Whitmore. Uh, I joined the Citizen Fire Company in the early 50s. I served uh, the company for 20 active years. I saw many, many tragic fires. I had a wonderful time when I was serving actively in the fire department. Had many friends. We had a wonderful friendship in our fire department. It's something that I think every young man should uh, do to serve his county, his community. There's many ways to serve and the fire companies are a great place to serve. Mr. Whitmore, you're the first person I've spoken with who used the word wonderful. What it, why is it? Why did you use the word wonderful? Why is it wonderful to work for the company? You feel, you feel like you're really doing something for someone and uh, it, it's, it's sad sometimes when you go out and a home burns down and people are, don't have anything left or when a farmer's barn burns down and loses all of his hay and things like that, but it's it's wonderful to be able to help. Do citizens remember that that's the service they've received? When you, know, you you answered a fire of theirs, does that farmer remember that that you helped him and that sort of thing? Oh yes, yes, uh -huh. yes, indeed. Lots of times, uh, of course, always they would thank you and. Uh, they would try to come out with uh, sandwiches or something and coffee if it was, you know, when you were there. And of course, we had an auxiliary that uh, always did this too. They came out with sandwiches and coffee, and uh, especially in the winter time. Sometimes it was awful cold. <laughs> I remember one fire we went up at Middleway. Clayton James, who was a member of the Independent Fire Department. He lived down one block from me, uh, close to the Citizen Fire Company. And he and I used to catch the truck together a lot of times. And we rode to Middleway to a fire. And we had to stop in Middleway to take him off of the truck. He had jumped on the truck and grabbed a metal bar. And this was in the dead of winter and it was about zero. And we had to prize his hand open to get him off of the back of the truck and sent him back to town. Wow. And that fire was really, it was really cold. I know several of the members, including myself, had to knock ice off of our buckles on our coats before we could get our coats off. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite a fire. I've seen, I've seen a lot of those fires, uh, a lot of barns, and like I said, a lot of homes that burned down, and it's, it's really sad. It really, it really does something to you. And there was a lady in our community, uh, Mrs. Lambert, that lived up at Middleway. Uh, we were calling on her a lot of times. Uh, she had uh, clothes. She's one of these ladies uh, that gathered up clothes and stuff and gave to people. And we called on her a lot of times after home fires and, and uh, to gather up stuff to to these people and it was it was a fine relationship we had with her and of course the people of our community were generous in donating to our people and uh, I don't know if I should mention any names but we did have some uh, people in our community that I guess they had a little money and, and they really were generous with it. Everybody knows their role, it seems. It yes. knows how they make it all work. Yes, right. And of course, uh, the members, I know that uh, it cost members a lot of money to belong to fire department. Back in those days, uh, it seemed like we were so anxious to get to the fires that we didn't put our coats on or things like that. And a lot of us worked and ran from work to go to the fires. And, and we ruined clothes. And of course, the fire department didn't pay for them. We had to pay for our own clothes. 
and uh, things of that sort. And, but we had dinners, and, and uh, they were wonderful when we got together with the other departments. We had uh, departments that we called in for help a lot of times. Uh, when we had a big fire, why we would call other companies in to stand by for us in case we had another emergency. Uh, this. When you first came on, how many fire companies were there? I'm guessing four, maybe? Uh, well, there was uh, Shepherdstown, Harpers Ferry, Independent, and uh, Citizens. And we ran, uh, well, there was outside of, uh, well, in Virginia, Berryville. But we ran fires to uh, Berryville to help them sometimes because their company wasn't as large as ours at that time. And uh, we ran, uh, well, we ran far as close to Martinsburg. I know we had the, the <laughs> barn fire up uh, right at uh, about the Berkeley County line back in there. And uh, the, the name of, <laughs> of the farmer slips my mind at present. <laughs> but, uh, we had we had a lot of places that we went to up like uh, close to Inwood and wow. and helped uh, help them up there when they got organized. Um, to... Mr. Whitmore, how ha, you've mentioned a lot of barn fires. What are the, over the years? What have been the main causes of fires? Are uh, if there are any main causes, and has it changed? Did it change over time? Yes, uh, we had uh, a lot of fires where they were, and some of them were quite bad. Uh, with people starting wood fires with kerosene, and it would flash up and and blow out, and and even even some people would try to start fires with gasoline. And uh, I can I can remember a young mother. Uh, the Jefferson Orchard that uh, that we found laying on the floor from from one of those fires, and a man out back of Ripon that uh, same way, and he was burned so bad that when he talked, flesh just flew out of his mouth, and and, and he he was asking about his children, and of course his children were right there, but he couldn't see them. But the worst, uh, I guess, the things that really stick in my mind about uh, fires is one that we had on uh, Congress and uh, 340. Maybe you know where that is. That building's closed up now. I remember we went in there and, and uh, Roger Ramey ran in the home. There was a couple couple of other fellows, but I remember Roger, he carried out, and I can't remember whether it was two or three young children, hmm. excuse me. It comes back, doesn't it? Yes. This is why everybody loves their firefighters, you know. And so, so that was one of those things you can never forget. That's right. Mm. Of course, the ca community can't forget the fire company either, Mr. Whitmore. Um, so it's tragedies like that that also bring people together. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. And I remember uh, uh, another incident where I mentioned uh, Clayton James. Clayton and I uh, caught the fire department 